Welcome, welcome to GTEx Designs. I'm GTEx. This episode we will be building part 5 16 for crankcase top bearer for the Clayton Untyped Steam Wagon. Let's get building. MMGS. Okay, let's go to front view sketch. Gonna do a square box to off with. That's gonna be actually you know what? I'm not gonna do a square box. I'm gonna do line. Start here, go across, down. Cross, down, across a little bit, down, there, curve, wrong way. You know what? Don't worry about the curve like that in a minute. <laughs> down, across, pretty much mirror each way, yeah, so, oop. Down there, down there. Oh, that's not quite straight, but that's fine. There we go. Not exactly the <laughs> previous thing. Okay, let me do add this in first. One there. And one there. There we go. Let's now trim. Oh. So trim, thank you. We trim you and trim you. There we go. Oops, something's not joined. Why is it not joined? Oh, we'll find it in a minute. Let me just sort this stuff out. So it's going to be raised at 12. 12. Yep. 12. 12. Okay, so this is going to be 152. Well, I found a place that wasn't joined. <laughs> Zoom out, so let me join that up now. There we go. Oh, there's the other place that wasn't joined. So it's two places. Bring that one that way. Bring that one that way. That one and that one will be... There we go. Now we want 25. Let me do 25 on here. As well as 25 on here. That's gonna be 21. And then it's gonna be 12. 12, six, Six. Twelve, twelve. Oh, twelve there. I can say. Don't put twelve now. It's that twelve there. I was looking at. Twelve. Twelve. Oop. <laughs> we do. Actually, that one, that one is there. There we go. Those two are. There, there we go. Um, this point and this point should be... You know what, let me just do the... 21. 12. So what am I missing? What am I missing? What can I move? Okay, so that one, that one is sealant. There we go. And so is that one, so there's no confusion. A 10, I mean. 
I was very tame, didn't I? Okay. So we've got 12, 21, 6, 12. Oh, I see. Where are we? Oh, hold on. Oh, there's no drop down here. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Let me delete that one. Delete that one. Yes. And put those two as... There we go. <laughs> yeah, one side sticks out, one side doesn't. But it does have to stick out there. Or drops down. So what part is still movable? That can be movable. Okay, hold on. Put these two as... Oh. I can't do that. Hold on. Get rid of this 21 here, because that's bugging things up. Because... Okay, something's not right here. That one, that one. What the options do I have? Nope, <laughs> not that one. Okay, something's not right. Let me delete that measurement there. If I put these two as horizontal. That one and this one as horizontal yeah that should be 12 let me just confirm that yep there's 12 it's hard wide then that's fine okay 12 6 152 from there to there oh what's the measurement there okay that's the measurement i need but i can't see it there get that one everything locks into place Put that six mils for the moment. Any reason is there's some uh, mounds up there. It looks like they're the same size. So that's going to be questionable, that one. Um, I'm going to screw that now and I'm going to add the rest in a minute. So that is 12 wide. Mid plane. And done. There we go. Now let's go back to this one. We are going to add oh, click help one there, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now make all those equal. Equal, beautiful. And that's going to be raised to six. I don't know if I've this one, I've done the other one, done that originally, but I just didn't want to overload that with information in case I had to go back and change something. Oops, sketch. So this point here to this point here. Come on. Man, flash. Okay, that line there then. Is 12. These two are 42. Forty four. Forty two. And this should be there yeah, pick there. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve, yep. That's hard, isn't that's fine. Now, all I would do is bring a line from there to there. If I need closest in. And that one, the reason I went in close, I didn't quite click on, on the right spot. If I do that, it's going to close in. Okay, we are on the edge there, that's cool. So, feature extrude. Uh... Hold on, hold on. What do I click on? 
I think I got the right one. Through wall. Nope. Up to next. Hold on. Yeah, I had the wrong one. Up to surface. That's what I want. Thank you. I had the right one. <laughs> Somebody's saying it's screwed. Okay, that's good. That's what I want. Excellent. So let's go back into this one. Uh, sketch. We've got circles now. What, four of them? So touch on there. One. Oh, not quite that big. Let's go bigger that way. I can measure it easier. There we go. Let me now, actually, let me go one, two, three, and four is equal. I went small anyway. And that's 6.5. 6 6.5. And that is feature. Oh, oh man. Revolve, extrude, cut. Through all and done. Yeah, I hate when it does that. <laughs> there we go, back again. Whew, thank God for that. Right, that's done. That's done. Now we need two count sink holes. So we're going to go to wizard holes. We need count sunk that one. They're going to be size three. Three. And that's going to be. Oh, let's measure it right. Yep. It's going to be two, one, one, two. The measurements will be. Let's see, three from there to there. Three. Okay, what did not change? Three. There to there, three. Now these two will be vertical, beautiful. The measurement will be 7.5 from here. 7.5. Done, done. There we go. That is good. I uh, just need two more holes. One's going to be on this side, one's going to be on the other side. So let me sketch, circle. That's going to be how big? Six mil. Six mil. be six that way and six this way thank you six that way that's going to go on depth of 10 feature three cut 10 and done now we want a thread on that, so it's going to be whole wizard thread. It's going to be, oh, oh we, actually no, we don't need to apply, we can use that one. So we can use that ring there. This here we can actually use this plane, oh, this face, which is nice. And it's going to be up to selection, which be that one. That's going to be extrude, trim, trim and done yeah there's no others no i think this is the only one thread other than one this end as well so let's do this one as well that same thing we've just done sketch circle it's gonna be six mils oh no yeah six mil six 
gonna be six from the side and six from the bottom. And it's gonna be sunk in 10 mil. So it's still 10 mil. It is beautiful and done. Now we just need a thread to that one. So it's gonna be thread. That circle. That face. And that inner circle. There we go. Screw thread. Click, click. And done. That should be that piece done. Looks like it is. Okay. Let's go pop that in and see where it goes. Okay. Let's go to this one. Oh, hold on. Something's not right here. This piece. Oh, this piece needs to be trimmed. Okay, interesting. Because this piece goes to holes there and the holes there. So we've got this face here will face this face here, but it's gonna be flipped. Okay. And that face there, oh, maybe not that face. Maybe not clear that one. <laughs> Let me take that up there, there we go. So, whoop, uh, that face there. Gonna be that face there. That hole there should line up with that hole there. There we go. And that should line up. Yep, see the bolt goes there, bolt goes there, or screw. Screw bolt. Okay, so that means this one here needs to be changed. So if we open up that one, that was 12, wasn't it? Yeah, that's 12 wide. So if we go on this one, normal, uh, edit, uh, sketch, sorry. If we go to corner rectangle, we Pull that one there to that one there. Dimension 12. Feature extrude. So it doesn't break anything. And OK. So that one. You go back to the other one. Yeah. I thought it would be one. There's only one. That's fine. That's not bad. Let me delete that one. There we go. Now if I yeah, so I've moved that one now. That's no problems. It still works. We go mate that one to that one. And done. There you go, still lines up. Still lines up. Yep, still lines up. Excellent. And that is now closed in. That worked out good. Okay. Okay, that worked. But it's strange why it didn't pick up there. Oh, what it was? 511. Let's have a look at 511 on here. Yeah, follow instructions. 121. So let's have a look at this side extruded again. Uh, let's see now. Right plane, normal two. Yes, there's one C one shows there. That's a weird thing about.
Oh no, one oh that's one thirty one. One twenty one point three. Okay. That's fine. We've fixed it anyway. I'm not gonna go and see change this, it's working, that's we done a work around, that's fine, that's fine. That is fine. So that is part five sixteen, the crankcase top bearer done for the clay and untyped steam wagon. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Click like button, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate it. I'll see you next episode. And remember, thank you very much.